Since its establishment, Aptera Motors has been reshaping the transportation landscape with its focus on sustainable innovation. The founders of Aptera envisioned a vehicle that would not only push the boundaries of design and efficiency, but also prioritize the health of the planet. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, please kindly support this channel by clicking on the like and subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. With a profound commitment to environmental sustainability, Aptera Motors set out to harness solar energy for everyday transportation needs. This ambitious vision led to the development of their patented solar electric vehicle, ETS EV technology, which aimed to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and traditional charging infrastructure, setting the company apart in the automotive industry. A significant chapter in Aptera's history involved its interactions with the United States Department of Energy, DOD, particularly concerning the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing, ATVM, loan program. This program was designed to support the development and production of more fuel-efficient vehicles, offering crucial funding opportunities for companies like Aptera. However, the company faced obstacles primarily due to the unique classification of its vehicle and the stringent eligibility criteria of the ATVM loan. Aptera's SEV, with its innovative design and three-wheel layout, did not fit neatly into the traditional passenger vehicle categories recognized by the program. This misalignment posed a significant challenge as the ATVM program predominantly favored conventional four-wheel vehicles, complicating Aptera's application for the loan. In response to these challenges, Aptera sought alternative funding methods, including equity crowdfunding, to advance its mission. This strategy demonstrated the company's determination and adaptability, while also highlighting the need for government policies and funding mechanisms to be more flexible and inclusive, supporting emerging technologies in the automotive sector. The encounter between Aptera and the DOE underscores a broader issue, the necessity for governmental policies and support structures to evolve alongside technological advancements, particularly in areas critical for combating climate change and promoting sustainable transportation initiatives. In an impressive demonstration of community support and innovative funding, Aptra Motors announced on January 31 the successful conclusion of its accelerator program, securing over $33 million to initiate the production of its pioneering solar electric vehicle. This initiative represents a strategic step towards realizing solar-powered transportation, driven by a community-led effort that allowed enthusiasts to secure one of the first 2,000 vehicle reservations by contributing $10,000 or more to the company's crowdfunding campaign. Launched in January 2023, the Accelerator program quickly gained momentum, raising more than $2 million in just the final few days before its closure. This level of support underscores the strong belief in Aptera's vision and its potential. Chris McCammon, the Community and Content Manager at Aptera, emphasized the community's critical role in pushing the boundaries of solar mobility, highlighting the participants' eagerness to be among the first to own a solar-powered vehicle and support a groundbreaking company. Aptera's commitment to transforming transportation is evident in its innovative vehicle design and production approach. The company has developed a solar electric vehicle designed to meet most daily driving needs off-grid, thanks to its patented two-axis automotive-grade solar panels, an efficient powertrain, and one of the industry's most energy-dense battery packs. The Launch Edition vehicle, with a 400-mile range on a single charge and approximately 700 watts of solar cells, sets new standards for eco-friendly mobility. Further distinguishing itself, Aptera has relied on equity crowdfunding to finance its operations, raising over $100 million in the past two years. This approach signifies a shift in how automotive companies secure funding and build communities around sustainable innovations, aiming for a positive societal and environmental impact. Next steps towards high-volume production with the $33 million raised through the Accelerator program, Aptera is positioned to fund the initial phases of production, including the procuring of tooling and the construction of production in 10 vehicles for testing and validation. This progress sets the stage for the next phase of raising capital for high-volume production, anticipated to require significantly less capital than traditional automakers. As Aptera transitions from the Accelerator program to broader fundraising efforts, it invites individuals to join its solar mobility movement, emphasizing collective ownership and responsibility towards sustainable transportation. The U.S. startup Aptera Motors has announced the launch edition of its three-wheeled solar electric car, which the company plans to start producing by the end of 2024. However, the start of production is not yet guaranteed, as Aptera needs additional capital. According to Aptera, the production launch version of the two-seater solar-powered electric car planned for production achieves a SIDU value of 0.13 and a range of 400 miles, 643 kilometers. The wheel motors are sourced from LF, and the battery cells come from EVE Energy. Haptera has not provided further details on the battery, such as the energy content, although earlier reports mentioned a 40 kilowatt hours capacity for the 400-mile version. Variants with smaller or larger batteries, for an alleged range of up to 1,600 kilometers, are not offered in the launch edition. The AC onboard charger has an output of 6.6 kilowatts. 
Aptera has not specified the charging time, which would allow for conclusions about the battery size. With 110 volts, 13 miles of range can be recharged per hour, and with 240 volts, 57 miles. Assuming that the AC charging power remains constant throughout the entire charging process, it would take 7 hours at 240 volts to charge from 0 to 100%. At 6.6 .6 kilowatts charging power, this would result in a 46.2 kilowatt hours battery. Although this figure is calculated using the above data and has not been confirmed by the company, what is new is that, contrary to earlier announcements, there will be a DC charging option. Notably, Aptra does not intend to rely on the open CCS standard, a rather Tesla supercharger network. We will be able to offer between 40 and 60 kilowatts DC fast charging with our launch edition vehicles. Once testing is complete, we will provide an update on our maximum charging rates, the company stated. Aptured is also working on a 100 kilowatts charging option to be unveiled later, although further details on this are not yet available. It is not confirmed whether the 100 kilowatts charging capacity is tied to a larger battery than the one in the launch edition. Aptured has provided a figure for the installed solar units. The cells integrated into the front area, dashboard, roof, and tailgate are supposed to charge up to 40 miles, 64 kilometers per day, equivalent to 11,000 miles, 17,700 kilometers per year. However, as is usual with photovoltaic systems, these are maximum values. The yield of the solar cells can be significantly lower depending on weather conditions and the location of the parking space. In a place with medium solar radiation like New York or Chicago, you only need to plug in about three times a year, the company promises. In areas with high solar irradiation, such as Southern California, one would never need to charge a socket, provided the driving does not exceed the American average of 29 miles per day. The basic concept of the electric trike has remained largely unchanged since its first unveiling. The slim cabin is 4.55 meters long, and the entire vehicle is 1.40 meters high. Given that the freestanding but covered front wheels require a certain track width for stability, the vehicle is 2.23 meters wide, although the two-seater cabin itself is very narrow. Consequently, the Aptera occupies a footprint similar to that of a mid-size car. Aptera is now in the final phase of product development, completing crash tests and validations, with plans to begin the production line for the launch edition. According to the startup, it has received more than 40,000 pre-orders so far. The plan is to rapidly scale production at the plant in Carlsbad, California, to 10,000 vehicles per year with single-shift operation, and then double that to 20,000 vehicles per year with two-shift operation. By 2028, Aptera aims to have eight assembly plants operating worldwide. While our delivery timeline is funding dependent, our goal is to begin production by the end of 2023, said Chris Anthony, co-founder and co-CEO. Once we meet our fundraising objectives, we will be able to provide a more accurate delivery timeline. However, the communication does not specify the exact funding requirement still needed. Aptera Motors has received a $21 million grant from the California Energy Commission, CEC, to support the company's vehicle and component manufacturing operations. As part of this effort, Haptra announced plans to move an innovative, specialized in-wheel motor manufacturing line from Europe to California as it scales up. According to co-CEO Chris Anthony, collaborating with the CEC will enable the company to advance solar mobility while creating new jobs in California. Our overarching goal is to meet the demand for our solar electric vehicles and have a real impact on climate change, sharing in the CEC's ultimate mission. This collaboration marks a significant step in Aptra's journey, underscoring its commitment to sustainability and innovation in the transportation sector. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.